Now the next part, I'm going to get a toilet roll holder, okay? And I'm going to draw, I'm going to flatten it. I'm going to put it on my page and I'm going to draw around it. Just lightly to give myself my rectangle because it stays the same width. So that is the width of my cylinder. So I'm going to find out the halfway point, just judge it. And there, I'm going to draw a line through there. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is, I'm measured from there to there. I'm now going to measure from there to there, so that that distance from there to there is the same as that distance there. I'm then going to add in an extra line there and an extra line there. So I now have a cross at the top of my cylinder. And then we can draw our first arc and our second arc. So we create that letter C. So that the top and the bottom are the same. And then we're going to turn it round. And I'm going to do the same again. First arc and second arc. Now you'll notice I am pressing very, very lightly on my pencil. So there is my first ellipse for the top of my cylinder. Now, as you will see, it has the top ellipse. I now need to do the bottom ellipse and I'm just going to do it exactly the same way. So from middle to front and middle to back, and I'm going to draw in a rectangle, just to help with the construction. And from top, let's draw in a wee curve there to start with. So at the top ellipse, so that that curve there should be the same as that curve there. And the same on this side. I'm going to turn it round, because it's slightly easier. Draw the curve at the side. So there is my ellipse, top and bottom. So the from the back end of the ellipse it comes down and comes straight down and curves around the front and the second on this side around the back of the ellipse straight down and round the front and that is how to construct a cylinder with an ellipse at the top and an ellipse at the bottom we can then rub away our construction line there our construction line there and the back of that ellipse because we can't see it. Once we've done that, we can then add in, start to look at our shading. So I would like you now to go and try and draw your cylinder. Thank you.